Okay, something's wrong. I can't see a thing. Ron's gonna kill me if I broke this thing. Uh, lens cap. Common mistake for the amateur Ramona. Uh, I'm sure it happens to the best of them. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, Fred. Oh, you got the champagne. Yeah, I got the okay, champagne. Let's, let's Where have you been? Come on, Ramona, this way. Hi there. Hi, with the local news? Just a neighbor. Who are you? I work with Molly. Want to get through? Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. <coughs> Excuse me, don't try to nudge your way through. She's my daughter. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a clear shot. Paparazzi. Sorry, thank you. Okay, everybody's ready. Ready? Shh. Ready? For the apartment to pay for it, so it isn't quite mine yet. But uh, oh, hey, I really appreciate the thought, and thanks so much for coming. Uh, uh, Ramona, is that thing still on? Well, well, missing mom surfaces at last. Should we call the post? I'll ignore that. Ma, what a healthy breakfast for an expectant mother. Uh, well, it was an emergency. I scrape off the salt, it helps me to think. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. None of these come even close to rhyming. Uh, please, it's not poetry. I have to come up with three book proposals for my staff meeting today. And so where have you been hiding out? I haven't been hiding. Like you, I've been thinking. Well, where have you been thinking? Entre nous, I'm staying at the plaza for a couple of days, but don't tell a soul. Ah, well, there's one soul in particular that is very eager to know your whereabouts. Oh, I'm sorry. I just need to be away from Arthur for a while. He's pretty relentless. These are for you. And this. I didn't even know Godiva came in a 10-pound <laughs> box. He is a dear man. But I really need to be alone right now. Hmm. It's a shame that all this thinking is taking up so much of your time. You seem to be forgetting all sorts of things. Such as? Oh, such as my amnio, for starters. I didn't forget. You were very specific about the date. It just happened to be wrong. And the check you promised for the closing, which was supposed to be today. You honestly think that I would forget something like that? Oh. Huh. Hmm. What's wrong? That is the correct amount, isn't it? Ah, uh, to the penny. Uh, I was feeling awful that I didn't have the money. Now that I have it in my hand, I feel much worse. I mean, here I am. I'm 39 years old. I'm still getting bailed out by my mother. Molly, nothing gives me greater pleasure than to be able to help you out. And apparently nothing makes me feel worse. It's not just from me. It's from both of us. Oh, Mother, I, I would rather not buy this place than borrow money from Arthur. I mean, knowing how he feels. Not Arthur, dear. Your father. When I sold the house, I put most of the money into treasury bills. And I can't think of a better reason to cash some of them in than to help you get set up, even in a place like this. <sighs> so it's really part of your inheritance from your father and me. Oh, well, 
It's really better that it doesn't come from Arthur anyway. He and I have to find out if we're right for each other without complicating the issue with money. Mm. I hope you haven't postponed the closing. I was just about to. Uh, the problem now is bread. Don't tell me. He offered to give you the money, but he never came through, and now you can't find him. Yeah, but it's okay, because I've got a plan. Oh. My best bet is to take my credit card and beg for mercy. That always inspires great confidence among bankers. Mm. Call me if you have a problem. Shall we share a cab? Ah, oh, well, only if you can help me come up with two more book proposals. Better make it three. None of these seem like a blockbuster. Why do we have these little get-togethers every Friday? Because we enjoy each other's company? As I look around this group, I hardly think that's the case. Any ideas? To find better ways to do our job? Yes. Now, who can tell me what our job is? To write, edit, and publish a wide variety of books, not just any books. Can anyone help her out? Books that sell, plain and simple. We must anticipate what the public wants and then give it to them before they even know they want it. Because a book that is never read is very much like the proverbial tree falling in the woods when no one is around. Does it make a sound? No. Yes. I think no. I uh, am so sorry I'm late. I was sitting in a cab with my mother for the last 20 minutes. It never budged an inch. So I took the subway, and the local train turned into an express. Abracadabra, absolutely no reason. So I uh, uh, walked the rest of the way. Now that you're here, would you be so good as to sit down and act like a member of the team? It is quite obvious you won't be with us much longer, Molly. But I do expect you'll give us the courtesy of attending meetings and pulling your rapidly increasing weight. Oh, well, I did get the first five chapters of the police book in on time. That is one book which you and I will discuss openly behind closed doors. Your staff responsibilities extend to other projects as well, which is why we'd like to have you here every day, if it isn't too much trouble. No, I... I'm sorry I was late. Now, did we all prepare our three book proposals? Let's each lead off with our strongest, most provocative, and well-defined concept. Bernie? Something on serial killers. Anything in particular? I don't know. The whole subject just fascinates me. I see. Sylvia? Well, I I've been examining our sales figures over the past five years. And if we could find a way to combine cookbooks with cats, I feel sure we'd have a blockbuster on our hands. That is either a very good idea or a very bad idea. Until you develop it further, I don't know whether to pat you on the back or blow you out of the water. Thank you. Molly? Ah, oh, well, I was thinking of uh, some kind of guide for women in business, because while women are certainly making great strides, many obstacles remain. Uh, Plus ça change, plus c'est la même chose. I'm afraid it will take more than French to sell this idea. What exactly are you proposing? Uh, well, how women could better handle certain situations that might arise in the workplace. Such as? Oh, uh, how to get a raise, how to get along with your uh, boss. Um, this was actually my mother's concept. Um, but I think you get the idea. I certainly do. If I have any further questions, I'll be sure to call your mother. Bryce? <clears throat> well, uh, I've noticed that people today 
seem absolutely fascinated with, with large sums of money. Now, why don't we publish a book that's just a list of big numbers with dollar signs? Then people can flip through it and get excited. Bryce, this is not a day for your, quote, humor, unquote, if that's what that was. As a matter of fact, I don't intend to endure any more of the intellectual bankruptcy and gross insubordination which I seem to encounter on a daily basis. I am single-handedly keeping this department afloat. I have payments to make on my home, and yet everyone seems to be against me. I will expect a far greater commitment from each and every one of you, or else you will be accessed from our organization. If those are the best ideas you could come up with, then you have my deepest sympathy. Oh, boy. Well, I think we're all capable of better ideas. We just have to work harder. Get over it, Sylvia. No one can satisfy her. She has laid down the gauntlet and issued a challenge. I, for one, plan to meet it head on. <sighs> what is wrong with Sarah? Well, if anyone calls, I'll be at lunch. Uh, but it's only 11 o'clock. Plus que change, pour la commode. I don't know what she expects anymore. I wouldn't worry about it. No, but now she wants to see me about the book. I guarantee it's not important. Do you know something? I know. The best thing she could do is to update her resume and talk turkey with a headhunter. She's out? Who are we talking about? Who have you been talking to? Easy, Molly. Not a word about what you know. I don't know anything. Good strategy. I see you've played this game before. What game? Exactly. Uh, Bryce, I may need your help. Uh, I could be a little late from lunch today. I've got that real estate closing. They said it would only be 45 minutes. But... Remember, as long as I'm here. I was afraid of. Every hairdresser I've ever been to says, I'm just going to bring it up a pinch. I'm just going to give it a little lift. Now, no one ever says, I'm going to hack off about a good six inches, and you're going to cry because you look so bad. And that's what they generally do. Trust me. Yeah, see, that's what they say, too. <laughs> hey, stop worrying. Look, you just closed on your apartment yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sit back and have a good time. Head forward. Hey, well, I Come know, but... Come on, it's time to celebrate. Treat yourself a little. Mm. Where do you want to go for dinner? Oh, uh, I don't know. Somewhere in the neighborhood's fine. Any place you want, it's on me. Oh, Ramona, no. I, we should go duck. I got a check for $500 today, and I want to spend every single penny of it. <laughs> Lotto? I wish. From my sister. God, I mean, she could be such a bitch sometimes. No, that's my sister. She always does that. She makes people love her. She didn't send that money for me. She sent it for herself. Well, maybe she's just trying to help out. You don't know my sister. She's a man in woman's clothing. Literally? No, emotionally. Ah. Uh. Went to law school, partner in a firm. I had the beauty and she had the brains. Still pretty bitter about it, too. Total attitude city. You know, I think deep down she was always ashamed of our family. Could you imagine how she felt when I wanted to go to beauty school? Boy, I should introduce her to my sister, Mamie. They'd get along great. Ten to one, my sister's got me down as a dependent on a tax form. It's always, oh, poor Ramona. Or I bet you need some help, Ramona. Let me give you some money, because I know you're too proud to ask. I bet you were a great sister, Molly. Well, yes, I feel I was definitely the better sister, objectively speaking. Same here. Hmm. You know, it's too bad you can't pick your own sister. Because I would have picked you. It, yes? Oh, well, thanks, Ramona. It's a shame there isn't a good way to get rid of a sister, except maybe summer camp, and Mamie's a little old for that. Yeah, well, I almost killed mine. Oh, me too, on several occasions. The way I did it was? There was this guy, Johnny Palumbo, in high school. He knew these guys that would take someone out for 50 bucks. I got as far as saving the 50 bucks, but 
I was very into clothes, so it was like a choice. How about you? Huh. Oh, uh, no, well, I never really got that far. You really knew guys like that in high school? Oh, no, the guys who actually did it were, I don't know, 19 or 20. Just getting started in their careers. I guess you didn't go to high school in the city. No, Port Washington, Long Island. Uh, that explains it. Well, no, it was pretty tough. <laughs> Maybe not murder for hire, but there was a group of boys that were late for class a lot. Wow, pretty scary stuff. Yes, it was. Voila, go check it out. Ah. I'll clean up and blow it out when you get back. Well, gosh, feels like a good haircut. Hey, I'm a professional. I wasn't going to botch it up. Ramona, I really should pay you for this. <laughs> get out of here. I would have charged my sister, but you, I like. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, afternoon, ladies. Oh, hi, Davy. Hey, Davy. Gal pals going out in the town? Yeah. I'm taking Molly out to celebrate closing on her apartment. Oh, felicitations to you, Miss Dodd. May your current acquisition bring you lasting happiness and peace of mind. Thank you. I now owe an appalling amount of money to a savings and loan in Rochester. I'll be paying off the mortgage for, what, oh, a good 30 years. It's going to cost me a small fortune in interest. Of course, I'll never be able to sell the place. If I do, I certainly won't get a decent price for it. So I think I've kind of ruined my life, fiscally speaking, forever. Buyer's remorse. No, but I just signed the papers yesterday. Oh, nothing to worry about, Miss Dodd. Buyer's remorse is as inevitable as postpartum depression, which you've also got to look forward to. Is there some kind of universal law where joy is immediately taken away from everything good that happens? <laughs> There must be, huh? Yeah, that's life. The yin and the yang. Uh, make sure you go for Italian. Carbohydrates have a calming effect. Hey, Mal. Ugh. Well, well, if it isn't the man of the hour. Uh, mm. Gee, Fred, it's nice to see you. Finally came out of hiding, huh? Yeah, I've been busy. Spending my nights in the studio. Huh. Well, Ramona, this is an unexpected blast from the past. My ex, Fred Dodd. Hi, how are you? Hi. Davey? Afternoon. Uh, you still playing that saxophone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen you at Tower Records. You have an album out. Yeah, another one on the way. Thought I'd drop by, get something for you. Well, it's a little late, Fred. I needed it before now. Oh, man. Well, here it is. Better late than and never. The closing was yesterday. Looks like I blew it. Sorry, Ma, what can I say? I... This... Any way I can make it up to you. No, really, don't worry about it, Fred. As usual, you're off the hook. My mother bailed me out. Oh, great. I guess I'm still tops on her list. Now, I can't quite say you've won her over yet. Well, the thing is, Mal, I've been up for days working on something for you. I, oh. I guess I just lost track of time. You know how it is when I'm really into something. It doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean? I think I'll get back to my book, uh, Ongoing Saga of Heather and Shane, romance novel. I mean, that this is the last time I'm ever going to count on you. Ever? Ever and ever. For ever. We can order trainees in a little later on, Molly. Oh, uh, that would be great, Ramona. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Sure you're going to be OK? Yeah. What's going on? No. I don't want to stand out here. No, I don't want to go upstairs. You want me to hold the elevator? No. Sure. So I guess that's that. That's what? No more. <laughs> no more what? Whatever it is we've got. Oh, I'll see you, Fred. I don't get this. Yeah, Heather and Shane are going through tumultuous times, too. I better go after her before you lose her in the streets. She doesn't want to talk. Oh, she'll talk if you'll listen. A stroll in the park, believe me, I wouldn't advise you to leave it this way. Love is a powerful yet delicate creature. You must hold her in honor. A sacred treasure whose wealth can never be fully measured, for every life passes too quickly. Shane said to Heather as they held each other in a desperate embrace, before he died in her quivering arms. <sighs> So oh, I can't say hello if I pass you on the street? I don't know what the rules are, Fred. What if I get hit by a car and somehow manage to crawl my way up to your apartment, a bleeding lump <laughs> of flesh? Would you 
at least let me bleed in your bathtub? Yeah, as long as you don't track blood across my nice, clean carpet. Oh, boy, you are tough. Well, I'm tough, but not unreasonable. What if I were lonely and needed to talk to somebody? Or, or you were lonely. Could we call each other? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I want to always be friends. It's important to me. Yeah, but friends are people that you can depend on. I, I was counting on you to come through. I told you why I couldn't. I know. There's always a reason. I don't want to lose you. Things are different for me now. I mean, it's never going to be exactly as it was before. See, 